How do you want to be perceived? Right when you shake hands, do you look somebody in the eye? You hold the door open for people? You know, how do you interpret these gestures? Right? It's all internally controlled though. That's why it's called self-control. And maybe, maybe that's rooted in self-worth. Maybe not, you know, but observations aren't rooted uh, in, in anything, really. They're not life sentences, even, until we find ourselves guilty or worthy of them. That's why self-worth takes discipline. That's why self-worth requires self-control. we got to control our thoughts. Control the stuff that we let in to better clarify and qualify who we are and what we want to come out. All right, that's something... That's something that I learned. So I went to school at a university called St. Leo, just north of Tampa, uh, for anybody who's, who's unfamiliar. And I joined the theater department. I thought it was cool. There was a lot of people there that I was interested in. We had things in common, and I enjoyed it. Right? I was in plays like The Good Doctor, uh, Anton Chekhov, if anybody's familiar, Moonlight, that was a Harold Pinter show, uh, Streetcar Named Desire, Tennessee Williams, right? Uh, 1984, Apple, I'm, I'm kidding, George Orwell. But, but for me, theater was, was a mask. For my, for my social insecurities, I think. And over time, arguably a decade, it wasn't even until I look back in hindsight that I realized it was also more of a mechanism to empower me, to refine my self-confidence or my creative expression and gave me insight into aspects of humanity I hadn't been aware of before.